Hey everyone, this is Kendall Dye here. I wanted to do a quick review over the Jack Bates Dock Rock. Uh, one of my key components to this jig is definitely the head. It's an Arky style head. You can see the lip up here in the front. And then the width of this jig will definitely help you get to the back of some pockets where there's some thick brush or get to the very back of a dock. Uh, the head of this comes in two colors. It's a rhino black and then a black crack. Um, I don't, this is the black cracked, if you can see that there, you got a little brown and black dots in it. Uh, along with that, you have a 5 volt mustad hook, very strong hook, you can see the thickness gauge there. Uh, also, you got a nice weed guard, you can see the length of it, the angle is great. Uh, very, very rarely do I have an issue getting hung up anywhere with this jig. Uh, a lot of times you get a... A weed guard that may be sprayed out all over the place. I don't particularly like that. Uh, it make you know make the jig look a little funny going through the water, in my opinion. Uh, outside of that, you got your keeper here. You can see you got a nice cone keeper. Does a very good job of keeping a trailer on. If you want to put uh, super glue on it, of course you can. I don't. I've never put a drop of glue on any of these. Haven't had any issues. Uh, you can also see the little ridge here. That's for your O-ring keeper on your skirt. That's a non-rot O-ring. No issues with these skirts budging at all. Um, to go along with the skirt, I'd say probably my favorite is this Smoke PB&J. You can get a nice little look at that there. Um, and again, there's your trailer. I mean, I can pull on this. And see that that hasn't moved a bit so if you're getting into skipping this is where it's at and don't forget don't just hook them jack them